Well, welcome back everybody. It's another day down here. I couldn't stand that burned off paint anymore. Um, and the worst part is he didn't actually get the paint burned off. He just basically, you know, blackened it or charred it. The paint's still there. You can see it, you know, all the cracks and the crinkles. Um, he just went over it with an oxyacetylene, just enough to burn the color, which was driving me crazy. This is not John Deere green, it's Hunter green. The only reason I used this was because 15 minute fast dry, and I'm not a patient person, and I want to work on it in a half hour. <clears throat> so we're going to put this mag on. Um, I'll meet you over at the vise. I want to talk a little bit about that mag. Now, I don't know how stuff's going to show up, but the straight up one, I believe, is zero, but I'm not positive. And you can see that the one right here by my finger on the lower disc has been moved to the left, advanced, about maybe 14 degrees. So that right there is what this tractor will run on for timing, whatever you set this for. Um, what it is, is when you use the impulse to start a tractor, that impulse locks up the shaft, holds it, doesn't let it fire until you get to top dead center. And then it trips and the energy of the spring is what flips it around. And if you go by like somebody, and I don't remember now who it was I was talking to. They had, they were going by till it tripped, then backing up and using a, ohm meter or test light, I think it was an ohm meter, it had to have been because there's no battery on most of these, and they were coming up and when they were getting the points to break, they were breaking them at top dead center and then running them like that. Well, the impulse now is starting 15 degrees late and they're running at top dead center, which they should be running 15 before. So anyway, you want to trust your mag guy whoever rebuilt this um i don't know who he was but it looks like it was a rebuilt mag you know it's all been uh sprayed with some type of a clear lacquer or something and i don't even know if it works i'm going to test it here in a minute but i'm assuming it'll work and uh yeah it feels good you know you can feel the magnets and stuff good in it so i'll bring you back well, this is typical of a mag. It didn't have any spark. I don't know if you can see all that white or grayish corrosion in there. But I will take some 400 sandpaper and I will clean that out. And we'll see if this old girl will come to life. It's got a new replacement coil in it. New points. You know, it looks to me like it's been done by a professional operation. So I think it's just from setting. Um... We'll tune that up and see where we can go. Okay, I got a, this is a piece of 1000. It's very, very fine. I uh, took 90% of the material off with a piece of 150. And we'll just work this back through. And then what I'm gonna do, um, I found this pretty important actually. You know, um, and it don't have to be a dollar bill, but you should always put some type of paper in here. Just any paper will do, but you know, all the big shots at the engine shows, you know, they always pull out a hundred, you know, and run a hundred between the points, but I'm too damn cheap to put a hundred between the points, but anyway. That should now have spark if we got all the corrosion off. Let's take a look here. Let me get that screwdriver. We'll get you off the tripod. See here what it looks like now. Yeah, I don't know if it'll focus or not. Sometimes up close it's hard to see, but take my word for it. It's pretty shiny. We're going to see if it'll work. Well, we still got window light here, but I 
as you just saw that one doesn't spack and this one should so it's got a good blue spack every other impulse so this uh one right here is the one that should go to your left hand cylinder the top one doesn't really matter though it'll run fine either way because they chase each other but um <clears throat> we'll hook this one up and uh this has two sparks that don't amount to anything on every revolution you know so yeah like i say it'll work either way but we'll put this one to number one which is the left cylinder well this is the second time around the uh as you can see this one has a real good spark um it was the spark plug was bad so yeah i was out there trying to you know get the right cylinder to go on which i'm going to go and trip the left cylinder right here which is going to be the top one which is what i'm hooked up to and then i'm going to back it back to horizontal i'm not going to let it go with you know and snap around and then i'll lug it in and i'll see you on the other side now i went by and tripped it and kept right a hold of it and then i just backed it up level now we're going to put that on just the way it is of course i ain't got my bolts ready Let's see if i can get this bolt started there we go okay i'll get the bolt on the bottom i won't tighten them up i'll just put them on finger tight like that and then i'll bring you back okay i got this on it is not tight by any stretch of the imagination it's just on there there is a gasket behind it and don't ever use the bolts to pull it up if it won't start in your lugs aren't lined up um had a fella tell me not too awful long ago that he broke one of these because he thought that it was just a snug fit and he kept tightening until finally he broke a lug and uh, he didn't realize that stuff wasn't lined up in the back so anyway now this has gone by trip right now because I tripped it manually. That's how I found out I was on the right side. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to back this flywheel up about a half a turn. I'm going to bring it back to top dead center where it's supposed to fire. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's there. I don't even have to adjust anything. That tooth, remember I said I thought I might be off one tooth? Well, I am off that tooth. And I'll show you where it tripped. I actually didn't want it to trip because I didn't have no leads in here. That's not good for your mag. But it happened, it happened. So this right here and this dot, if they're vertical, should be about right to the front of this bolt right here. And it fired right there. So it's actually firing about a eh, half inch early on the on the rim of the flywheel um down here if that plate was there you might call it right on so i'm going to call it perfect uh, i'm not going to chase it i'm not going to break this apart just for that i mean it's no big deal because i didn't put sealer on it all you have to do is loosen all the bolts you don't have to take them right out and you can pick it up and you can bring it back one um but you know something? I'm going to do it just for the sake of demonstration. I'm going to put this back where it belongs. And I'll take the mag back off. I will get that where it belongs. And I'll show you actually how you're supposed to adjust these mags. Because it's no good to do it if it isn't 100% right. I've, I've not shown you anything. I'll bring you back in a few. I'm going to uh, just loosen all these bolts so I can pick this up about 5 16 of an inch. I'll just put a bar in here under that bolt. Pick it up. And I'll reach around the other side, roll that back. i got to take the mag off to do it. But, yeah, right there is about where I want it to trip. That would make, it, make me awful happy. So, Okay, so i got everything loosened up. Don't go crazy lifting one of these if you're trying to move the gear in. There is an oil line hooked to it. I'm just going to kind of spring it a little bit. should be fine. But I'm just going to come back one notch. Okay, I guess we'll go back. 
Yeah, that's one tool. So, yeah, I'm gonna try it there. We'll see if we get better results. Get my lug started in, there we go. Uh, before I go and do anything, I'm gonna go grab some plugs and stuff here so I don't frig that mag up. They don't like firing when they got no place to go. It's real hard on them. Um, now, what I did was I, after I put this back on, once I got this close to horizontal, like I said, it, it wasn't right either way, but we'll see which way it's closer. I may put it back where it was. It depends how this times. It's not all the way ahead right now, but it didn't have to be. Um, but I've preloaded the spring by backing the main flywheel up. And now we should be able to go to the clicks. Right there. And we still have travel left. So we're gonna run it right in that spot. Um, you wanna have travel both sides. That's your main thing. Um, and of course, you know, I pulled that off and I don't think I turned anything, but I'm gonna uh, snug this up. I'll back it up and impulse it again, actually watching the plug and uh, make sure we get a spark on that particular. We'll rotate it over the other way so I can see it from the other side. Reground this leg here. Like I say, it's very important to keep this stuff grounded. Um, <clears throat> so, let's see here. I'll back it up a half a turn to preload that impulse. Man, that is so close. So it's it's going off right where it should be. I wasn't watching the electro now. Too many things to watch. Yep, we're on the right, we're timed right. So that's all there is to it. Um, as you can see, I've still got slot over here. I'm almost in the middle of the slot, which is where I should be. So yeah, these plugs that's in this thing are junk. Um, <laughs> I was getting intermittent spark and not a very good one. I went and got one of these, you know, new old stock jobs there that was in the other room. Man, they light right up. So my timing is all straightened out now. The mag works fine. And uh, yeah, we'll continue on. I'm going to uh, find a couple of the right plugs to go in the spark plug holes down there. And... Uh, We'll see here if we can't maybe uh, get the carburetor thrown on and get a little ignition. Spray a little bit of fuel into it and just see what happens. So I don't have the fuel tank hooked to it, but I took the inlet off of the carburetor and I filled it up with gas. So it's got gas. I don't know if the carburetor is going to work or not. So. And I might have Well, yeah, see what that does. Huh. I'll try chopping one more time. Actually. Yeah, those jets ain't screwed down all the way or nothing. I didn't even check them to see how far out they were. Well, 
Let's open this pet guy. Make it a little easier. That one works wrong for most of them. like work. Yeah, the hell with it. I would say there's some rust in the head on the valves because when it just fired I had a bunch of smoke come out the carburetor. So you know it's one of those things. But I'm gonna put the starter onto it. Find me a battery. We'll see if we can't make something go that way. So I'll bring you back in a little while.